Hello all. In this video, we will see about components of fixed appliance. Fixed appliance are commonly known as braces. is one of the most commonly employed orthodontic mode of treatment. In this video, we will see about what are the parts present in a fixed appliance. The in broad terms, it can be divided into active components and passive components. The active components include arch wire, springs, separators and elastics whereas the passive components include bands, buckle tubes, brackets, lingual attachments, lock pins and ligature wires. So we will see about each part in detail. Arch wires are active component as we saw and brings about various movements through buckle tube and brackets. As you saw in this picture, this is an arch wire. So, the arch wire can be classified depending on the type of material used. It is made of gold alloy or it can be made of stainless steel, nitinol which is commonly used because of its shape, memory and super elasticity. And it can be also made of cobalt chromium. It can be an optiflex arch wire which is uh, transparent or more aesthetic in appearance. Multi-stranded arch wires are also available. Here you are seeing a nitinol type of arch wire. These are a pack of nitinol arch wires. The next component is springs. Springs are used for uprighting, derotating and the torquing effect on tooth. It can be an open coil spring or a closed coil spring. Open coil springs are used for opening up spaces whereas closed coil springs are used for closing spaces. In this picture as you could see this spring is trying to open up spaces therefore it is an open coil spring whereas this spring is trying to close spaces therefore it is a closed coil spring separators are used because tight dental contacts causes difficulty in banding what is this banding bands are inserted for facilitation of see this is a band this band has a buckle tube which helps in insertion of wire through it and it also has hooks for attachment of elastics and other parts so these bands need space to be inserted here so this space is provided by separators when there is tight dental contact especially. The separators can be made of brass wire, ring shaped, dumbbell shaped or Kessling spring uh, separators. As you could see here, this separator is inserted here temporarily for creating space after which banding is done. Elastics are another active components. The elastics can be either used in class 1, class 2 or class 3 cases depending on which it is named. These are class 2 elastics as it is trying to pull the maxilla backward. These are class 3 elastics as it is trying to pull the maxilla forward or pu pull the uh, mandible backward. Elastics are also used in elastic chains or modules. For to know more about it, you could see here, this is a pack of modules. It is used in as a ligature for uh, wires. Uh, elastic chain is a continuous series of um, module-like thing like this. It is used in closing spaces and consolidating the arch. Elastics can also be used as box elastics or diagonal elastics. Box elastics in turn can be anterior or posterior box elastics. It, will, it can be used in the posterior segment or in the anterior segment. Uh, this example is a diagonal elastic. So that's all about elastics. We will move about the passive components. What are the passive components? First, we will see about band as you already saw band is used for inserting wire and the hook present here will help in attachment of elastics it is available in various sizes it is used to fix various attachments to teeth it is made up of soft stainless steel it is soldered welded and cemented onto the tooth the brackets are used to transmit forces from the active components to the teeth. The brackets have a slot through which wire passes and through the wire that is the active component force is transmitted to the teeth. Brackets are bonded in the anteriors and the premolars not in the molars. Brackets there are different system of brackets edgewise appliance ribbon arc appliance and tip edge appliance depending on the brackets. The edgewise brackets have facing labially slots and the horizontal slot is present see the wire could pass like this whereas a ribbon arch has a vertical slot and the slot faces are facing occluso gingivally 
the tip edge is a different type of uh, bracket it is controlled it is used in controlling and uh, tooth root uprighting controlled root uprighting it permits free crown tipping also based on materials brackets can also be classified as metallic brackets the examples we saw here are all metallic brackets it's made of steel the advantage it is that it can be recycled sterilized it resists fraction and it is less expensive but the problem is the staining and the unesthetic appearance of fixed appliance ceramic brackets the main advantage is the aesthetic appearance but the problem is it is brittle due to the brittle nature to compensate for it the bulk size is increased Ceramic brackets are made up of aluminium oxide or zirconium oxide and it is also dimensionally stable. But the problem with plastic brackets it is it has poor dimensional stability and it is made up of polycarbonate. It is also tooth color or of transparent nature which is of a good aesthetic value. Self ligating brackets are another type of brackets also known as dam on brackets. It has a ligating uh, slot which helps in place of ligature wires or modules. No need of using any ligature wires or modules here. And in dam on systems, the appointments between each visit, the time duration between each visit is usually longer and therefore the process is also speed, speed in nature. Uh, it is it has an inbuilt metal slot as we already saw it has a labial face uh, the other types of brackets include weldable and bondable brackets buckle tubes are the next passive components as we saw this buckle tube present in a band helps in insertion of wire it is for posterior teeth uh, especially uh, to be welded onto the uh, band it is bonded or welded it can be round or rectangular in shape depending on the wire used Lingual attachments are another passive components. Uh, the different types of lingual attachments include lingual buttons, cleats and eyelets. Finally, ligature wires. In edgewise appliance, since the horizontal slots are present, ligature wires are used. As you could see here, this uh, here ligation, ligation is brought about by modules. But here, uh, stainless steel wire is used for ligation. So that is the purpose of ligature wires. Also, it is used in uh, various other purposes, which we will see later. Uh, diameter ranges from usually these mm, and uh, lock pins are uh, used in ribbon arch appliances. These are the different types of lock pins. Since there is a vertical slot present, lock pins will help in holding the arch wire in position in a ribbon arch appliance. So these are the different uh, components of fixed appliance. In short, we saw about the active and the passive components. Uh, hope you can. Uh, get an hope you can pictureize what are the components uh, see you soon in the next video